오늘은 조 바이든 대통령이 에, 다시 대통령 나오지 말아라. 너무 나이가 많다. 뉴욕타임즈에 사셨는데 어느 날짜냐면 2022년도 7월 13일자 사설을 한번 나이가 남은 마이너스니까 다시 나오지 말라. 사설을 한번 재밌게 읽어보겠습니다. Joe Biden is too old to be president again. I can't believe feeling very sorry for Joe Biden. I can't help feeling very sorry for Joe Biden. He's wanted to be president for most of his life, forced running 34 years ago. Had his son, uh, Bo, not died in 2015, Biden might have entered the Democratic primary then. As vice president, he would have been a favorite and likely would have beaten Donald Trump. By the time he finally achieved the office he longed for, he was far past his prime. Trump had left the country in ruins, its institutions collapsing, much of the population gripped by furious delusions, and millions <coughs> traumatized by the pandemic. Biden was elected to bring back a normal normality that now appeared to be gone for good. Many of the crises the driving down Biden's approval numbers are not his fault. If an 8.6% inflation rate uh, were due to his policies, then it's hard to see why the rate is even higher in Britain and 9.1% or why is 7.9% in Germany. Uh, the moolish attachment to the uh, filibuster by Senators Joe Munchin and the, uh, Christine Sinema makes most of the le legislation impossible. Even if Biden had more activist inclination, there's not much he could do about the Supreme Court's cruel reversal of Roe v. Wade or the increasing temporal massacres that uh, punctuated American life. Nevertheless, I hope that he doesn't run again because he's too old. Now, I didn't want Biden to be the Democratic nominee in 2020 partly for ideological reasons, but even more because he seemed too worn out and unfocused. In retrospect, however, given the way Republicans outperformed expectation, Biden may have been the only one of the major candidates who could have beaten Trump. Voters showed no appetite for sweeping progressive change. So I recognize that I could be wrong when I make a similar argument today. But the presidency ages even young men and Biden is far from young, a country in as much of the trouble as ours need a leader vigorous enough to inspire confidence. As a recent New York Times Siena College poll found, 64% of Democrats want a different presidential nominee in 2024. Those Democrats are the site Biden's age more than any other factor, though job performance is close behind. Uh, this concern isn't surprising. Biden had always been given to gaps and uh, maldapropisms 
but tell the job painful. Uh, suspense at the end, watching him speak at the now, like uh, seeing someone wobble on a tightrope. Some of his uh, misspeaking can be explained by the stutter he overcame as a child, but not all. His step open seems to be keeping him out of view, as the Times reported. He participated in fewer than half as many news conferences or interviews as recent the predecessors. Certainly, there is something nice about a president who doesn't torment the country with his vampiric uh, thirst for attention, and by most accounts, Biden is still sharp and engaged in performing behind-the-scenes duties of his office. But by receding so far into the background, he forfeits the ability to set the public agenda. You can't spin away a bad economy, but you can draw attention to its bright spot, like a 3.6% unemployment rate. Americans overwhelmingly sympathize with Ukraine and with the rousing in a message, some might be willing to accept the pain of high gas prices at the cost of standing up to Vladimir Putin. To rally them, however, is not enough for the administration to repeat the praise. Putin's price hike, like the rest of us, the White House had ample notice of the Supreme Court's intention to overturn R.V. Wade, but it somehow wasn't ready with an immediate executive order and a public relations blitz. There's a problem here that goes beyond the shortage of presidential speeches and media appearances, or even Biden himself. We are ruled by a gerontocracy. Biden is 79. Speakers of the House Nancy Pelosi at 82. The House of the Majority Leader Stanley Hoyer is 83. The Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is 71. Open is not clear if they grasp how broken this country is. They built their careers in institution that worked more or less, and they seem to expect them to start working again. They give every impression of seeing this moment, when the gears of government have seized and the one party openly schemes against democracy as an uh, interregnum inter rather than a tipping point. Biden's uh, Democratic critics come from different places on the political spectrum. Some are impurated by his centricism, centricism others worried by his least lessons. Uh, what linked the most of them is desperation for leaders who show urgency and ingenuity. If there's one consolation in Biden's age, it's that he can step aside without conceding failure. There's no shame in not running for president in your 80s. He emerged from semi-retirement to save the country from a second Trump term, and for that we all owe him a great debt. But now we need someone who can stand up to the still roiling forces of Trumpism. There are plenty of possibilities. If Vice President Kamala Harris's approval rating remain underwater, Democrats have a number of charismatic governors and senators they can turn to. Biden said during the 2020 campaign, 
that he wanted to be a bridge to a new generation of Democrats. Soon, it will be time to cross it. New York Times는 바이든한테 나오지 말라고 합니다. <웃음> 여러 가지 이유를 대면서 어, 특히 나이가 너무 많다. 그 다음에 생기가 없다. 미국이 그렇게 한가한 나라가 아니다. 어, 여러 그 단점이 아마 이 대단한 인물인데 경쟁이 나이가 들면서 여러 가지 문제점이 많다. 이런 걸 지적하고 있습니다.